fighting against the Lord in his anointed. Now let us break their fetters, now let us throw off their yoke. The one who throws in heaven sits like the Lord derides them. Then angrily he addresses them, but the rage he strikes them with panic. This is my name installed in the eye of my holy mountain. Let me proclaim the Lord's decree. He had told me you are my son, today I have become your father. Ask and I will give you the nations for your heritage, the ends of the earth for your domain. With iron scepter you will break them, shatter them like potter's ware. So now you kings learn wisdom, earthly rulers be warned. Serve the Lord with fear and trembling, pay him your homage, alleluia. Bless the righteous, O Lord, thou hast covered him with favor as with a shield. 
O Lord, rebuke me not in my anger, nor chase me in my wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is sorely troubled. But thou, O Lord, thou alone. For O Lord, save my life. Deliver me for the sake of thy steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of thee, and shame on me and give thee praise. I am weary with my moaning every night. I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, O you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and sorely troubled, and they shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now in heaven and into ages of ages, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now in heaven and unto ages of ages, amen. O Lord, my God, in thee do I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers. And deliver me, lest like a lion they rend me, dragging me away with none to rescue. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is wrong in my hands, if I have requited my friend with evil or plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake me, and let him track out life to the ground, and lay my soul in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in my anger, lift up thyself against the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my God, and thou hast appointed a judgment. Let the assembly of the peoples be gathered about thee, and overtake thy seed on high. The Lord judges the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to the integrity that is in me. O let the evil of the way come to me, and establish thou the righteous, thou who triest the minds and hearts, thou righteous God. My righteousness is with God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, and a God is indignation every day. If a man does not repent, his sword. He has bent and strung his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons, making his arrows fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and brings forth lies. He makes a pit, digging it out, and falls into the hole which he has made. His mischief returns on his own head, and his own take his vials descend. Give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, as I praise to the name of the Lord of the Most High. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic Thou hast glory above the heavens is chanted by the mouth of babes and infants. Thou hast founded the bulwark because of thy own, who still the enemy and the avenger. When thou made thy heavens the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast established. When thou man that were mindful of him, and the son of man that thou hast cared for him, thou hast made him less than God, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast given him dominion over the works in thy hands, thou hast put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the, the fields of the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Be on every land, to ages of ages, and Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God.
You have enabled all men, O Christ's blessed fathers, to come to the knowledge of the Trinity as the cause of the world's generation. For by your mystical teaching, you established three and four councils, and you have appeared as champions of orthodoxy. For you showed that while there are four elements, it is the Trinity who created them and made the world. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise the Lord. It would have been enough if for Elisha that the prophet to have bent down only once to give life to the dead son of the woman. But he knelt and bent seven times, and in his foresight he prophesied of the gathering by which he breathed life into the slaying of God the Word, and by putting to death Arius and his profane companions. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord abides for us. In your wisdom, venerable fathers, you did in the garment of Christ, read by howling, the howling dogs, for you could not bear the looking upon the nakedness of his body, but as Shem and Jephthah of old, who hid the father's nakedness, you put to shame that slayer of his father, Richard Arius, and those who wishly followed his teaching. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
performing without something at the valley of Sheba, that is, the Eden Valley. And now he did that. King of Balaam brought up bread and wine. He was pleased with God's heart, and he blessed him and said, Let us see from God most high, by God most high, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their descendants after them. At that time I said to you, I am not able alone to bear you. The Lord your God has multiplied you. And behold, you are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. May the Lord, the God of your fathers, make you a thousand times as many as you are and bless you as he has promised you. So I took the heads of your tribes, wise and experienced men, and set them as heads over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officers throughout your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, hear the cases between your brethren, and judge righteously between a man and his brother, or the alien that is with him. You shall not be partial in judgment. You shall hear the small and the great alike. You shall not be afraid of the face of man. For the judgment is God's, and the case that is too hard for you, you shall bring to me, and I will hear it. The read is from the book of Deuteronomy. Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart and love upon your fathers, and chose their descendants after them, you above all peoples, as at this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is the God of gods, and the Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner, therefore, for you are sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God, and you shall serve him and cleave to him, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise, he is your God, who has done for you these great and terrible things which your eyes have seen. Our sake, Lord, to keep us this night without sin, bless thy God, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify us thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me with thy precepts. Mercy, O Lord, endure us forever, and despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongs worship, to thee belong of praise, to thee belong of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
though there is no salvation for him that is God. But you, O Lord, are my helper, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. With my voice I cried to the Lord, and he heard me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. You have struggled and struggled without cause on my enemies. You have broken the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, forgive me not in your wrath, nor chasing me in your anger. Your arrows have pierced me, and you've laid your hand heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your wrath, nor is there any rest in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities is not over my head like a weighty burden, and pressed heavily upon me. My wounds are found festering because of my foolishness. I suffered and was utterly bowed down. All the day long I walked in sadness, for my life was filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I've been afflicted and humbled beyond measure. I cried out because of the affliction of my heart. O Lord, all my desires be before you, and my sign is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me. The light of my eyes has also gone from me. My friends and neighbors who yearned me and stood silently, my kinsmen stood afar off. Those who sought after my soul used violence, those who sought my ruin spoke vain things, and imagined deceits all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, did not hear, like a dumb man who does not open his lips. I became like a man who does not open his mouth and who reproves. For you, O Lord, I have come to hear me, O my God. I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my feet slipped, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my affliction is continually before me. For I will confess my iniquity, and my soul is afflicted because of my sins. But my enemies live and are higher than I. Those who hate me wrongfully and multiply. Those who render me evil for good slander me because I followed after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Attend to my help, O Lord, and my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Attend to my help, O Lord, and my salvation. O God, my God, early in the morning when I turn to you, my soul thirsts for you. How all my flesh longs for you as in a trackless desert land where no water is. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips will praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul will be filled as with the fat of my mouth will praise you with the little lips. I remembered you upon my bed and meditated on you in the morning. You have been my helper and in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul is pleased to you, your hand upholds me. But those who sought my life in vain, they should be delivered up to the sword, they should be apportioned for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, everyone who swears by him shall be praised. But the mouth of those who speak unrighteousness shall be stopped. I meditated on you in the morning, you have been my helper, in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul is pleased to you, your hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, my salvation, I pray at day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplications. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to hell. I have counted with those who go down to the pit. I have become like a man without help free among the dead. I have slain the mind of the grave, and you remember no more, nor cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Your wrath has set me upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your ways. You put away my acquaintances far from me, they regard me so far. I was delivered up and did not come forth. My eyes are weak and weeping, Lord, I call daily upon you. I stretch out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead when the shades rise up and praise you? Who will tell of your mercy in the grave or your righteousness in the place of destruction? Will your wonders be done in the dark of your truth in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I cry out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. O Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you turn away your face from me? I am born in distress from my youth. I was exalted and I was humiliated and brought very low. Your wrath passed over me. Your terrors troubled me like water. They engulfed me. All the day long they overwhelmed me. You have moved far away from me, my friends, my neighbors, and my acquaintances, because of my suffering. O Lord God, my salvation, I cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplications. Bless the Lord, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who gives you life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord 
works deeds of mercy and executes justice for all who are for He made known his ways to Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long suffering and abundant in mercy. He would not always be angry or be vehement with us forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, the Lord has confirmed his mercy on those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, as far as he removed no transgression from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord is compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows where we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, like the flower of the hills and he blossoms. For the wind passes over it, it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children, his children to those who keep his covenant, remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, mighty and strength to do his work, heeding the voice of the word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, and his sisters who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places in his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places in his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, you hear the prayer of my supplication, your faithfulness, hear me in your righteousness, and are not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no man living shall be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the ground, he has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is troubled. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all your works, I mused on the works of your hands. I sat on my hands to my soul, long to be like a thirsty man. Hear me sweetly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Turn not your face from me, lest it be like those who go down into the pit. Make me hear your mercy in the morning for you, I hope. Make me to know, O Lord, the way in which I shall offer and lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. For your name's sake, O Lord, let me in your righteousness bring my soul up out of tribulation. In your mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, and are not into judgment with your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, and are not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to you, O God. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting.
We that sowed in tribulation with fearful fasting shall reap the seeds of reviving and eternal nourishing joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The source of the divine treasure is wisdom, understanding, and the fear of God and the Holy Spirit. Praise, glory, honor, and power belong to him. If the Lord does not build the house of the soul in vain, we labor for without him no work, no word from he to his. Through the movement of the Spirit, the saints brought forth paternal teachings of filial inheritance for man and the fruit of the womb. The fruit of the womb. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit, all creation receives existence for a few else God himself exists, ruler of all, unapproachable light, but I like all. Thus the fear of the Lord does find the way of life, and now and ever will be blessed and diminished glory. O chief of the flock, as you see your children around your table, like sheep surround the olive tree, rejoice and be glad and bring them to Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is abundant to gifts, the fullness of glory, and the crown of ocean of thought. Please glorify and honor together the Father and the Son. The proclaim and honor the heaven stone. Rise, Lord God, raise your hand, do not forget the poor.
And they found the eleven gathered together, and those who were with them, who said, The Lord has risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. And they told what had happened on the road, and how it was known to them in the breaking of the bread. In the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only one who is without sin. We venerate your cross of Christ and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you are our God, and we have no other than you. We call on your name. Come, all you faithful, let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold. Let us see him, for he is glorified. Most holy, so 
Jacob was saying us, you alone are seen to be virgin after childbearing, but you born the incarnate creator of the world. Therefore, we all cry to you, rejoice. Holy Fathers of the Seventh Ecumenical Council, pray to God for us. O Lord, grant unto me who desire to him the Seventh Council, an assemblage of the seven gifts of the paraclete, who with the fire made it wise, and has caused all sacrilegious blasphemy to fall silent. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. The number seven hath been greater than others from the beginning, for originally the all-accomplished cessation of the divine creation of all was on the seventh day, and now an end hath come to all heresies at the council of the same number. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, of old in thy sea the choir, of the fathers vanquished with the pastoral staff, Arius, who contended against God, and thus they have taught the church to walk in accordance with orthodox teaching. And now as champion it has put to shame the iconoclasts therewith as well, now endeavoring them to wages of ages on men. As the fathers quietly taught, confessing in faith the virgin's womb, which the pain gave its birth in the flesh unto the incorporeal one, so we also worship her, inscribing her image upon pillars, and venerating her with honor. Dominion 
of death can no longer hold them captive, for Christ ascended, shattering and destroying his powers. Hades is bound, while the prophets rejoice and cry, the Savior has come to those in faith. Enter you full into the resurrection. Today, death and Hades and the lowest depths of the earth shake in terror at the presence of one of the Trinity. The earthquakes and the gatekeepers of Hades are struck with terror at beholding you, but all creation Rejoicing with you, prophets, sings a song of victory to you, our Redeemer and God. As you destroy now the power of death, let us also shout and cry aloud to Adam and those who sprung from him. The cross has brought him back. Enter ye faithful into the resurrection. For you truly most blessed and divinely eloquent prophets, you have appeared on earth as most radiant beacons of the truth of Christ to the world. Stifling the heresies of sacrilegious blasphemies and quenching the fiery molds of the impious. Therefore, as ye are fireworks of Christ, pray that we be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Go thou quickly before us, O pure Virgin Mother. Rescue us from the enemies that blaspheme against thee. Destroy all the sacrilege of heresies. Set at naught their assaults by thy might, that they might understand that thou alone art the Mother of God, who by thy prayers dost save the congregation of the Orthodox. Tomorrow at the liturgy, we'll hear the parable of the sower in many of our churches. Here's a commentary on that gospel. The parable of the sower, which is the gospel read, um, is one of the best known in the gospel texts, but this parable may perhaps be better known in its negative aspects. The instance is a seed that does not grow in the positive aspect. Generally speaking, we know that the seed grows and then falls on the good ground, but we may not see precisely and concretely enough the conditions set out in the gospel for its germination. Saint, uh, Jesus explains to his disciples, he did not say this to the crowd, that the sowing represents the word of God. The sower, that is to say, God himself or his son, cast the seed. Sometimes the seed falls by the side of the road, but the passers-by tread on it, and the eat it. Thus, those who are at the roadside receive the word, but the devil comes along and takes it out of their heart. Sometimes the seed falls on a rock, and from lack of moisture dries up and withers. Those who have received the word with joy, but have no roots, lose what they have received when temptations come along. Sometimes the word falls among the thorns, and the thorns choke it. Thus worldly cures, riches, and pleasures suffocate the word, which was had begun to take root. And sometimes the word falls on good ground, and it produces a hundred times for one. Thus it is, is it with those who have received it with a sincere heart and cling to it with patience. It is not enough for the word to fall into good ground. The reasons why the sowing did not bear fruit in the other instances shows the conditions that are necessary for a true spiritual life. We must not stand at the roadside within range of passers-by. A certain withdrawal from the word, a certain silence, a certain contemplation, which vary in each case but are necessary in all cases, without exception, will protect what has been divinely sown. The ground on which the seed falls must have moisture in it. It must be frequently and regularly watered. This means that it must have constant and regular recourse to prayer and to other of grace without depending on moments of emotion or inspiration. We must not lightly reject a fixed framework such as the timetable and rules of life that may constitute a useless hindrance to the free flight of eagles, but most often, they are a help to the children and cripples that we are. We must not allow the thorns, that is to say, the attractions and distractions of the world to suffocate the word. There are, these are not only sentimental passions and earthly riches or ambitions, often entertainments which are not necessarily harmful in themselves, such as travels and parties, theater, novels, etc., hinder an intimate relationship with, between God and us. The good ground is a mixture of natural gifts and of grace, and grace is moreover made up for the deficiencies of nature. But even where good ground exists, no spiritual life is possible without daily and patient effort, without pressing certain things, without a certain regularity and stability, as much in material life as in mental life. 
the roots without meditation and examination of the conscience. The terms may be modern, but the desert fathers practice these things. In short, the beauty of the word cannot grow in us without a certain asceticism. Asceticism is not in fashion. People prefer talking about mysticism, but no one. No true mystical life exists without a serious ascetical foundation. The word of God will not take possession of our soul if we have not cultivated the ground and cut back the thorns. Our Lord says to the disciples that he speaks in parables so that others, seeing they might not see and hearing they may not understand, these words do not necessarily mean rejection, final condemnation of those to whom it is not given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. On the contrary, our Lord exercises a merciful condescension towards those who are not yet ready to receive his teaching with sympathy. He therefore teaches in symbols in a veiled way. Those spirits who are ready here, who desire to hear, will understand the mysterious meaning of the parables. The others will hear it in a purely literal way, without understanding, and by leaving them in the dark, Jesus spares them the sin that which would result from their conscious rejection of the divine message. But they are not excluded from the declaration of the message because of the striking form of its vivid images. The parable will make a powerful impression even on those who do not understand it. It will be engraved on their memories, and perhaps a day will come when they do will be ready to understand when under the impression of the letter which they remember, the spirit of the message will be made clear to them. To the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, O God, have mercy on us and save us. O Christ God, without leaving the bosom of the Father, you came down to the earth. I have heard the mystery of your dispensation, and I glorify you, only lover of mankind. Glory, O Lord, to your holy resurrection. He who was made flesh of the virgin, who gave his back to scourging, the innocent master was tortured for his slave who had sinned, freeing me from my reproach. Glory, O Lord, to your holy resurrection. The one who judges the whole world in righteousness, trial before lawless judges, and he who is the man was convicted and struck on the face by a hand of clay. Glory, O Lord, to your holy cross and resurrection. O Lord, you did not know sin, yet because of it you became what you were not. You took another form and fashioned it anew to save the world and lure the tyrant to his death. Glory, O Lord, to your holy cross and resurrection. O Lord, you hung upon the cross and destroyed the sin of your first father, of our first father, Adam. You filled our mother Eve with joy. For you came to save your anointed. Also, that to help us save us, you were born of a virgin and you died, bringing to life Adam, who had wandered in understanding. Death trembled in fear at your strength. For you came to save all those held in corruption. Holy Father, in the seventh ecumenical council, we God for us. The God like the fathers, having the word of God as arrow and sword, with the sign of the cross, slaughtered together. the Theotokos, and of all the saints. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. As at the behest of seven trumpets, the walls of Jericho fell as the seventh spirit thereof, so by these seven counsels all the multitude which have risen up against God have been cast down into the abyss at the assembly of the divinely sounding trumpets of the Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, showing forth youthful diligence and aflame with divine zeal, the multitude of the fathers, like Elijah, have slain the abominable priests. Wherefore, with boldness, they have taught all to worship the icon of Christ with love. Now endeavor and go to ages of ages, O men. Thou art my hope, all pure one. Thou art my king. Thou art my refuge. Thou art my restoration. O thou, that in virginity gavest birth to God, the incarnate word of the Father. Wherefore, I bow down without hesitation before thine icon, strengthened by thy mind.
work to those without faith, O Christ, but light comes for the faithful who delight in your words. Therefore I rise early in the morning and come to you, singing the praises of your divinity. Glory, O Lord, to your holy resurrection. You were sold for your slaves, O Christ, and enduring blows purchased free for those who rise early in the morning and come to you, singing the praises of your divinity. Glory, O Lord, to your holy resurrection. By your divine strength, in the weakness of the flesh, O Christ, you cast out the strong one. the resurrection, O Savior, you revealed me the conqueror of death. For O Lord, your holy cross and resurrection, you were numbered among the transgressors and lifted up on Golgotha, the light of how they hid themselves, which was seized with violent trembling, the veil of the temple was torn in two, revealing the defection of the people. For O Lord, your holy cross and resurrection, we glorify you in song, for you have destroyed the power of the tyrant by the strength of your incomprehensible divinity, raising the dead by your resurrection. Most holy Theotokos, save us all praise, Theotokos, mother of the king and God. By your prayers, grant purification of sins to the faithful. To us, we sing, we sing to your honor with faith and love. Holy fathers, pray to God for us. Deliberate together with the exalted flock, the honored fathers, whom the iconoclast to anathema, as ones that thought strange things. And they commanded that the honor be rendered unto the icon of Christ as is fitting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now is the time for gladness. Now is the day of salvation made manifest. Let us therefore be glad, and let us cry out to Christ with joy. Grant us thy peace through the prayers of the fathers of the seventh council, the lover of mankind. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the sake of the mercy of his compassion, the Son of God was immutably born of a virgin, seeing what was foreign to him as his own. And being in his essence uncircumscribable, he willingly appeared circumscribed in his form.
nature of a woman, and beholding him, we do not disdain to depict the form thereof, but tracing it piously, we honor it in faith. Wherefore, the church holding to the true faith doth venerate thy promise the incarnation of Christ. The all compassionate God who doth ever desire to have us to the perfect memory of his incarnation gave this suggestion to me that they depict his
Praise him, O priest, and highly exalt him, O people, throughout all the ages. Glory, O Lord, your holy cross and resurrection. He laid low the dominion of death, and rose to tomb in glory, saving the race of men. Praise him, O priest, and highly exalt him, O people, throughout all the ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the only compassionate, free, eternal word was born in the last times of the Virgin, destroying the ancient curse. Praise him, O priest, and highly exalt him, O people, throughout all the ages. Holy Fathers of the Seventh Tabernacle Council, pray to God for us. Most strictly, that the company of the Fathers set as law for them that honor God, the relative worship, and the restoration of the sacred icons of Christ. And as their right dutiful children, the lovers of piety, celebrate their yearly commemoration and lovingly inherit the icon of Christ. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. Seven times did the haughty ones cast down the humble and cut off the attacks of the lovers of virtue, thereby calumniating their divine acts. But the fathers of the Seventh Council, who assembled in Nicaea, straightway pulled down their conceits with sevenfold swiftness. Let us bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The blows and wounds inflicted by the childish are as the arrows of infants against the mature, as saith the Psalms. With divine power are the many tongues disabled of those that utter blasphemies against the Most High, and each one that doth not acknowledge the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit to be one God, the sole God of all. Now endeavor in them to obey his own men. Of his own will, for mercy's sake, the Creator fashioned himself into man with thy pure blood, preserving thee even after thy birth giving, O all pure and immaculate, and cleansing the image of God within man which had been defiled. Wherefore, though God in essence, yet having become man by nature, he is depicted an icon in company with thee. We pray for us and worship the Lord.
which contain the uncontainable, the dwelling for your infinite creator, we magnify you. Glory, O Lord, to the holy resurrection. Stop your mouths, all you who mind have gone astray, attributing suffering to divinity. For we magnify the Lord of glory, crucified in the flesh, but not crucified in his divine nature. For he is one person in two natures. Glory, O Lord, to your holy resurrection. Come to the tomb of Christ and learn. You who deny the resurrection of the body, for the flesh of the giver of life has been put to death and rose again in assurance of the final resurrection for which we hope. Glory, O Lord, your holy cross and resurrection. Light of light, the radiance of the holy glory of the immortal Father, Christ shown in the darkness of man's life, driving away the pursuing night. We faithful ever magnify him. Glory, O Lord, your holy cross and resurrection. Myrrh is fitting for the dead, a song for the living, since, O oh, women, your tears are for the dying. Bring a song for the life of all, whose resurrection the messenger proclaims, announcing the glad tidings of the rising of Christ. Most holy Jesus, the church cries out to you, I know no other God but you, who chose me from the unbelieving nations to be your bride. Therefore, O oh, compassionate word, grant salvation to you faithful through the prayers of her for you. Fathers of the Seven Ecumenical Council, pray to the God. O thou only God, who art unapproachable, O great one, who holdest all things together by thy might and counsel, ruler and king of all, establish thou the church, preserving it in thine orthodoxy through the entreaties of the most wise fathers who denounce heresy. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. Great honors were ye vouchsafed on earth, O Holy One, heavenly wisdom. For you lovingly honor the image of Christ, and now having cast off the shadow and the covering of the flesh, ye gaze directly upon the countenance and are vouchsafed yet greater honors. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Though we be chastened by the mighty host of barbaric insanity which thou hast loosed against us, yet do thou thyself crush their assault and audacity, and allay thyself with rising or of the Father. 
elders of the Southern Council, confirm the faith, make us partakers of the kingdom of heaven. When you come to earth to judge all of creation, praise the Lord in the heavens, praise the Lord.
servants of God, enlightened with the understanding of divine mysteries, cast out the devouring wolves from the sheepfold of the church. They were faithful shepherds, blazing with the righteous judgment, and have slain the destroyers with the mighty sword of the Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For the council of the Holy Fathers assembled from the ends of the earth, believing in one substance and nature of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They define the mystery plainly, discoursing to the church in theology. Therefore, we bless and praise them in faith. Divine army, soldiers of the army of God, shining lights of the eternal firmament, invincible towers of the heavenly Zion, scented flowers of paradise, golden lamps of word, the treasure and delight of the universe, never cease to pray for our souls. <laughs>
Alice, Diane, and Daria, Anna, George, and Majid, Helen, Dawn, and Suhal, Roberta, Charles, and James, Mary, Reno, Emmanuel, Nitsa, Nolan, and William, and Regis. Guide those at sea, travel with fathers for mother, Caritina, with father with her, or Archbishop Joseph's elders traveling with him, for Mary, travel abroad, Bishop Melchizedek, Priest Paul, Honey Maria, join Orthodox Christians in battle grant remission of sins to those who serve us and are kind to us. Have mercy according to great mercy on those who have asked us to pray for them unworthy though we be. Metropolitan Tikon, Archbishop Nathaniel, all the hierarchs of the church, the president, those in civil authority, those in the armed forces, Congress, and the courts. For the donors and benefactors of our monastery, all the clergy who serve and pray for us, all those serving a holy monastic life, especially Mother Augustine, and those who serve with her in the Orthodox Church in Guatemala, for the seminaries and the faculty and staff and students, for the parish clergy and their families. Priest Matthew Mastrixenia. Remember also Michael and Margaret for their marriage and healing, for the servant Stephen and Fran who desire children, for all the working people, the unemployed, the homeless, the poor, the sick. Remember all those serving as missionaries. Remember those in our parishes and their outreach programs. Remember those at St. Matthew's Church, the Archpriest Dennis and family. Remember our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, give them rest under the light of your countenance, especially the newly departed, our first Daniel, Michael, David, Michael, Frank, Lillian, David, Eugene, Simon, John, Shelley, Benjamin, Anne, Helen, Nika, Abby, Angeline, Sylvia, Charles, Catherine, James, Irene, Christina, and Demetra, and the servants, Archpriest, Vasily, Iguman, Kais, Archpriest Constantine, and Rose on the anniversary of their repose. Remember those who are in prison and captivity among them. Nicholas, Christopher, James, Pat, Jordan, Samin, Joel, Brightcliff, Bartholomew, Modesto, Jared, Jared, Craig, Patrick, Hugo, Dick, Paul, Monk, Andy, Daniel, Kipriyan, and Joseph. John, Paige, and Natalie. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and monasteries, and in all the petitions of salvation in our Lord. Remember us also, Lord, your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants. Enlighten our minds with the light of your reason, and direct us into the path of your commandments. By the prayers of your most pure, Father, and Lady, to the Pope, the Seven Virgin Mary, and all your saints, we are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs>
bless your holy mothers and sisters and forgive the sins that our sinner have committed this day in deed, word, and thought, and for all my sins. May God forgive you and have mercy on you, holy mother. Bless me, holy mother, and forgive all the sins I have committed this day in deed, word, and thought, and for all my sins. May God in his grace forgive and have mercy on us all. Amen. Welcome all of our visitors. We have a liturgy, those coming to our, our liturgy on Sunday is at 9.30. And I will have apathists for communion, preparation for communion.